Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in online data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data limo regarding year-on-year -year growth rate using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is hard and this question has been asked in Wayfair interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, assume you are given the table below containing information on user transactions for particular products. Write a query to obtain the year-on-year -year growth rate for the total spend of each product for each year. Output the year in ascending order partitioned by product ID, current year spend, previous year spend, and year-on-year -year growth rate percentage rounded to two decimal places. So there is a table called user transactions with four different columns, transaction ID, product ID, spend and transaction date. And this is how it looks like. So obviously if you look at it, right? So year 2019, 2020, 21, 22, right? So 2019, the year spend on this particular product and there is only one product, right? For this particular example. So the spend is 1500.60, uh, right? And then 2020 is 1020, right? So you basically, you're going to return that, okay, for year 2019, the current uh, for pro and product id this one the current year spend is this one the previous uh, year spend is nothing because there's nothing no data before 2019 right and obviously there is no uh there is not going to be any year of year rate right but for 2020 you know the uh, current spend is this much for this product the previous year spend is this much right and if you uh you know calculate the year on year growth rate so current minus uh, previous year, the whole should be divided by previous year, multiply by 100 and round it to two decimal places. Similarly, you did do for other years as well and other products. So that is what you do. So basically, first thing we should do is we should extract the year out of transaction date and group by that year as well as the product ID and then calculate the sum of the spend column to get for each year and each product ID, what is the total spend, right? And that should be, that is going to be basically the value in this current year spend. So what I'm saying is from this table called user transaction, let's group by the extracted year, right? So extract year from, right? Extract year from the column transaction date, right? And then you return the same thing, right? So copy it here uh, and then alias this as, because in the output you need to have this as year, right? So year, and then the, you also group by the product ID, right? Product ID, because for each year and each product, we are going to calculate the total spend, right? So product ID, you re return the product ID, and then calculate the sum of the spend column, right? Sum of the spend column and alias this as current year spend, right? So that is going to be for that particular year and product ID, the total spend, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what we are getting. So for, you know, year and this product ID, current year spend, all this, all, you have all that, right? So once we have this, then what we need to do is for each of the product ID, we need to, you know, order by year and get the current year spend as well as a previous year spend, right? So we can use the lag window function. But firstly, what we should do is let's store this in a common table expression. So with CTE as, and then this entire thing goes into parentheses, right? And then from this common table expression, let's keep all the columns, right? Because all the columns are required in the output as well. And then use the lag window function to get the previous year spend, right? So lag from which column do we need to get the value? Current year spend. So current year spend, right? And then since this is a window function, we need to write over clause over for each product ID, we need to arrange in year ascending order. Right. So that is how you are going to get the previous year spend. Right. So partition by product ID, right. Partition by product ID and then order by year in ascending order. You calculate the lag current year spend and then that is going to be the previous year spend. Right. Let me go ahead and run this again. Let's see what we are having. So now if you look at it, right? So for this product ID one, two, three, four, two, four, 
for 2019 the spend was this much there is nothing before this so previous year spend is null for 2020 this uh, you know current year spend is this one and previous year is 2019 so 2019 spend is this much right so that is what you have here similarly this one and you have this one here right so that is how you have the values now what we need to do is we need to calculate the year on year rate right so year on year rate is basically subtract you know what uh, current year spend and previous year spend divide the whole thing by previous year spend multiply by 100 right so let's store this entire thing again in a second common table expression right so cte2 as and this again entire thing goes into parentheses and now what we need to do is from this common table expression 2 let's keep again all the columns right because again we have one two three and four these four columns already made up till city two right we need to you know make this column and then what we need to do is so basically uh, you know how did we calculate the year on year rate current year spend minus previous year spend and then divide the whole thing by previous year spend which is exactly like current year spend divided by previous year spend minus one right we can write the same thing in different way so current year spend right so current year spend divided by previous year spend right minus one so that is going to give you the rate right and then you need to multiply it by 100 right so multiply it by 100.0 and why i am multiplying by 100.0 so here even though these are floating point numbers but it is possible that in some of the values it is a integer so just to you know avoid the problems that we can get from integer division uh, i am multiplying by 100.0 and i have discussed in my previous videos what the problem can be right and how this solves it so once we have this we also need to round it to two decimal places right percentage should be rounded to two decimal places so you need to write around this entire thing right round this entire thing to two decimal places right and this entire thing should be aliased as what we need in the output so year of year over year rate so y o y underscore rate so now we have it now let me go ahead and run this let's see what we are having so year product right and uh, you have the year over year rate rounded to two decimal places right so i think this looks good let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases right so this is accepted and this is how you do it again not a very difficult question but you know somewhat lengthy so what we need to do was firstly extract the year from transaction date then group by that year as well as the product id to get you know and calculate the sum of the spend column to get for each particular year and product id what is the total current year spend then we use that you know common table expression to get the lag so that is the previous year's value of the spend and you know we alias this as previous year spend and now once we have the current year spend for each product and year as well as the previous year spend we just simply applied the you know uh, year over year rate formula and calculated the values rounded to two decimal places and alias this to whatever was required in the output so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video